everybody. Um, today we're going to be looking at um, the hot cloth or hot wash. Um, for those that uh, have watched the grooming video, um, you'll remember I did promise that I would uh, touch on it, do a video on it. So here we are with Indy again, and and we're going to give her a nice good uh, going over with a hot cloth. Um, she was clipped uh, just over a week ago, I think, if I can remember. Yeah. Um, so I did hot wash her uh, after, straight after the clip. Um, and I'm just going to do her again today. Uh, there's a lot of scurf and um, bits and bobs still lingering about um, in her in her coat. So we will crack on and get that done. So what you need essentially is um, a cloth, flannel, or this is actually just a bit of bit of old towel that I've um, cut off, um, a bucket and some really, really hot water, as hot as you can bear. Um, luckily, I've, I've got hands like leather, so um, I, can, I can take the, you know, quite hot water. So, um, so that's helpful. If, um, if you think it will help, and it does actually help, um, you could wear a pair of rubber gloves uh, just to take the edge off the, the hotness, but you really need the, the water, the water, it's a new word, um, the water to be as hot um, as you can, you can possibly stand, um, because essentially we want the steam from that cloth uh, going onto the horse's coat, um, and and essentially that then lifts any grease, any dirt, uh, and then you can brush it off. So that is what hot washing is all about. Um, I use it all the time after a clip, just because it gets rid of um, any of the clipper oil that will still be lingering about on the coat there, and also those annoying little hairs that might um, that might cause the horse to get a little bit itchy. Um, so I always hot wash or hot cloth after clipping and uh, and just make a habit of doing it, uh, especially on a clipped horse. So it just makes them really nice and clean and, um, uh, and yeah, nice and shiny. So when you're going out to your competitions and stuff, you have a horse that's really shiny and it's also obviously really good for their for their skin and then you get to really have a good look at you know everything look for any cuts any um anything that uh, you know might you might not pick up with a brush does that make sense okay so so what you want to do is put your cloth in the water and then wring it wring it out as much as you can as i say it's not the water that we want on the horse's skin but it's the steam i don't know if you can see the the steamy bits coming off there so you just then basically want to obviously give your horse a little rubbing over with it obviously it cools quite quickly so you're going to be busy going backwards and forwards to your bucket to uh to obviously re wet the cloth and get a little bit more steam on there Good girl. The good thing is you can get it right into the into the main, where a lot of dirt and um, grime tends to just kind of sit in the base of the main. You can really get there, and the steam really does do a good job of getting all of that stuff off. good girl and I think the horses actually like it as well because you know it's warm the, obviously your flannel or your cloth is quite soft so they do love a little a little rub round their ears their face everything with the hot cloth good girl Okay. So I'm going to just do the her neck and um, chest area just for demonstration purposes, um, and I will finish her off afterwards. But just so this video is not dragging on too long, um, I'm just going to do her neck, chest, and then I'm going to show you what we do with the the brushing afterwards. Okay. Good girl, let's 
you a little bit more on your face. Right, you move over, sweetheart. Good girl. Let's see, let's go. Oh, he's at night. He's at night. always um, a good idea to change your water as well you're probably halfway through uh, just because it does get a bit green So the steam's obviously gone in, it's had a few minutes to, to get in and lift uh, a lot of that dust and dirt, so now we're going to brush it off. And obviously I've still not got myself another body brush yet, so I'm using this floppy thing, um, but we will do the best we can. Okay, so obviously because there's going to be quite a lot of dust and scurf coming off, what I do is, I know this isn't a curry comb, but it will do, um, is I tend to long sweep and then clean. Long sleep and clean. Long sweep and clean, and then you see all that nasty scurf just disappearing. Good girl, you are so beautiful. Yes, you are. So again, it's quite a workout for yourself, but that's only a good thing, you know. Your horse gets a nice, very basic sort of massage treatment from this sort of groom. Good girl, you are so beautiful, yes. I'm just gonna go over this ear again, just because it's a little bit of hair. Good girl, yeah, okay. So, for demonstration purposes, that's probably enough. But I'm going to carry on and uh, finish off doing her whole body. Um, and then yeah, put her to bed. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you've got any questions, don't hesitate to uh, pop me a message or just comment on the video. Uh, this will be posted to um, YouTube 
uh, as well as obviously Facebook, um, Instagram, if I can, if it's not too long. Um, so yes, thank you. Any questions at all, just give me a shout. Thank you. Bye-bye.